The Ravens' running game has come alive. Baltimore has put up an NFL leading 509 yards on the ground over the last two weeks. And much of the talk about the ground game has naturally focused on Lamar Jackson or running back Gus Edwards. Now look, Jackson and Edwards, they certainly deserve their fair share of credit for what they've done on the ground the past couple of games. But let's also not forget about the offensive line. I think the performance of this O-line is getting a little bit overlooked and it's time that we gave the big guys in the trenches the credit they deserve. Veteran Marshall Yonda, he's obviously the guy that sets the tone for that group and he's back to playing at a Pro Bowl level like he was before his injury last season. Now the group overall, they're playing their best football of the season, I think. And Jackson and head coach John Harbaugh made sure to point out the difference that they're making. I think our offensive line is blocking really well. The tight ends are blocking really well. Our offensive line do an incredible job, you know, pushing those guys around. You know, just not the defensive line, but the linebackers, they get in the secondary, block those guys, and our backs just hit the hole hard, you know, and get positive yards. And I'd also like to point out that it's not just run blocking that the line is doing well. Listen to this stat from Pro Football Focus. The last time that any current starting lineman for the Ravens was charged with a sack was all the way back in week five. And the Ravens right now, the offensive line ranks fourth in the NFL in pass blocking efficiency. So they're paving the way on the ground and they're also keeping the quarterback upright. I mean, that's a good recipe for success. And if the Ravens can continue playing that way up front, they're gonna make a strong push for the playoffs down the stretch. So that's it for me on Final Drive, but also make sure to check out the article that Clifton Brown wrote today that takes a deep dive into this run game and whether that could be the catalyst to get the Ravens into the playoffs. Check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again tomorrow.